Yo, what's going on people? I go by Rasta Kai. Welcome to my channel called Rasta Kai. Uh, yeah, sit sit back, get your, your, your I don't know, broccoli? <laughs> get all your stuff, your cheese, and your, your steak. Because we are about to go in on the movie Don't Look Up yet again. And how Randall Minnie is every American politician ever. At least in modern society. Now roll in! Oh. Yeah. Now, many times what happens with politicians or police officers, well, minority uh, cops or whatever, uh, is that, or just minorities in general that want to change things, they get to a point where they believe that they can possibly change things from the inside, right? That, that they can uh, join and slowly but surely make some sort of a difference. Uh, and this is kind of what happens with, with Randall Mindy. He, uh, he gets media training, I guess. You know, he, he, uh, he's like on TV doing little commercials and stuff. Uh, he he kind of dials it back, doesn't really take up for his, his, uh, his partner as, as much as he should have, perhaps. Uh, and he kind of just goes along to get along, you know? Uh, thinking that maybe things will change, that maybe he can persuade them somehow. He can be the voice of reason. How wrong was he? You know, <laughs> it, you know of course, you, if you've seen the movie and everything, um, th this is something that happens. It's like you get people that, that want to change things and they get bombarded or blackballed uh, by the people in power. They get just damn near beaten to death, metaphorically, uh, until they become one of them and they become ineffective. And you see this in politics a lot. You, you, you see, um, you know, politicians that came in with like a fighting spirit and slowly but surely they got beaten down. They, 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 they want to, to to no longer be under that pressure. And to some extent, it's understandable, right? Like who wants to go through that? Who, who wants to feel like the most isolated, hated politician of all time, you know, besides Trump? <laughs> One of the, the uh, key things that happened to Randall Mindy, and I'm, I'm sure it happens to many other people that go down that kind of a path, uh, is that by by going along to get along or joining the group or whatever uh, what, what often happens is that you, you end up taking on some of their toxicity uh, some of their traits some of their beliefs and then you become corrupted by uh, the very people that you were trying to change uh, and I, I, I kind of just like imagined it would have to take a very strong person to, to steal remain themselves if they were to go down that kind of a path uh, but but one one key thing to take away from Randall Mindy's situation is that uh, once he got in there he became uh, in, in, engulfed in the sugar that's what I'm calling it he, he was engulfed in the sugar and so the things that he had built for himself his life his family everything else he basically lost it because his his values were gone uh, his his um his reasoning was kind of swept to the side so he was willing to get to to lose his his wife uh for that whole situation he, he got lost in, in in all of it uh and it, it sucks that that's the reality that, that like a lot of people deal with but it is and to be honest i'm not 100 percent sure what the solution is right i mean if you look at uh 2020 yeah yeah 2020 uh, 2019, uh, there were plenty of politicians that were trying to speak up about things and they got blackballed or they would get uh, damn near hunted down by, by media. You know, well, not literally hunted down, but they would go after them. You know, if, if they were doing an, an interview like uh, Bernie Sanders went on The View, they went after him. There was no no mistaking it during one of the uh, debates, they went after Bernie Sanders. Like, <laughs> uh, they, they used um, 
uh, Senator Warren against him and they were supposed to be buddies. Just like whatever you can do to stop anybody that's speaking out. Some of my favorite media heads or, or uh, talk show hosts was like, they flipped. They, they was talking trash about, about, about my dude. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, AOC, the, the uh, I, I forget their name, but it's like the uh, four female politicians. Um, anybody that's speaking truth to power, they're coming for you, basically. And I, I don't know what, what the, the solution is, you know, to, not 100%, right? Obviously, hold your ground, you know, just remain grounded in your beliefs and what you're doing, uh, what you stand for. Many people would say go to war, you know, and remain in war. But in that kind of a situation where you're surrounded by your enemy, you need some kind of pressure from the outside or something, some kind of threat. Not a, an actual threat, not like, we're going to do this to you and da 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 Well, maybe they can say, well, we won't vote for you. We're going to vote for this person. Da 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 You know, whatever, something like that. Uh, that could maybe make a difference, right? Because, like, they, there has to be some kind of pressure from somewhere uh, that would help support the people that's basically surrounded by... Uh, false allies uh, of, of the people basically uh, so I don't know yeah thank you for watching this video uh, if you liked it hit the like button destroy it smash it crush it it will reinflate for the next video and you can do it all over again have fun enjoy it uh, share subscribe comment all that other good stuff thank you for, for lasting for the entire video uh all that other good stuff so yeah until next time